Introduce yourself. I'm Natalie, a virtual AI human created by Essoft. What is your phone number? I apologize, but as an AI assistant, I don't have a phone number. <laughs> I'm here to assist you through this chat interface. I see. I'm here to assist you. you so recently, I've been approached by a company called Eastsoft. Now, I didn't know what this company was about until I figured out that they're the ones who actually produced a software called iJIP. If you're a Korean like myself, who have proven to be 100% by carrying out a DNA test recently, you would at least come across with a software called iJIP, which is translated in English meaning egg house. So this is very well known, almost any Korean knows that is for antivirus um, and zip file and unzip and many different software as well. So it seems like they have now moved on to a new business venture software that is called the AI Studio Perso. I just love the name Perso. It actually has a deep meaning. It's a person without an N, which I presume it's initial for nature. So it's not real person yet, but it's almost there kind of meaning, if you see what I mean. So you can imagine they are one of the bone structure of the software industry in South Korea and they're trying to move on to the next level. It's just like Mercedes-Benz is moving on from petrol to diesel to the electrical car. So it's guarantee of a success if you see what I mean. So the reason I'm making this video, there are a few elements behind it. And number one is that I want to share the link so that you guys, my viewers, precious people out there could click onto the actual web page and immediately interact with this AI character. And number two is that I want to grow with them because they are such a big firm in Korea. I want to make them international, worldwide and so on. And number three, one of the most important thing is by doing this, I'm hoping in the near future, I could visit to Korea to their studio, which they have a recording studio and create my own AI character so that you guys could always chat with me and have intellectual discussion with me. So enough said, let's actually get on to the actual trial and all the information related to them, shall we? So here it goes. So immediately after clicking onto the link, you'll be welcomed by this beautiful AI assistant. Now, apparently I've been told this AI assistant, this person is not a real person. It's something that is modified or somehow they created a person that never ever existed. So that's really amazing. I just can't see any flaws on this look. It's amazing. Uh, the other thing is that you do not need to log in like chat GPT, you have to log in. So sometimes if you ask like really confidential sort of questions, you get this feeling that chat GPT is going to record that uh, for as an exchange for giving you the allowance for using that software, if you see what I mean. While as this one, I think it's a promotional period, guys, so you better use it. You do not need to log in. So you can either use the voice conversation or the keyboard conversation. So let's actually try some of the uh, things but before that, please note this is ChatGPT 3.5. There's also a ChatGPT 4 that they're also providing as an app version called Ellen, which is written in Korea. And you can get it on Windows, Google Play and App Store as well. Uh, so enough said, let's actually talk with this lovely girl called Natalie. So here it goes. Introduce yourself and then you press the stop button. I'm Natalie, a virtual AI human created by Essoft. There I'm you go. here to assist you with any questions or tasks you may have. Okay. I can provide information, answer inquiries, and help with various tasks. Feel free to ask me anything. Feel free. Okay. So I, I could ask you. Okay. <laughs> Check this one out. What is your phone number? It's <laughs> a stupid question. As an AI, I'm not going to give it. That's what she's going to say. I apologize, but as an AI assistant, I don't have a phone number. <laughs> I'm here to assist you through this chat interface. I see. I'm here to assist you. you okay. I can, I can hear the tone. She's getting a bit annoyed, actually. Um, tell me a joke. Sure. Here's a joke for you. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Why? Because they make up everything. 
Okay. okay. All right. So that's that's the thing. So this is how you could interact with ChatGPT 3.5 knowledge. Now, those who actually want to have these like uh, smart home robots, um, but beca mainly because of the uh, function of ChatGPT, and um, if you can't afford it, I think this is the immediate alternative. Instead of chatting with a machine robot toyish kind of figure. You just need to um, use your internet browser and then immediately you can talk with this beautiful lady. Again, people, I don't know how long they're going to do this. It looks like a promotional sort of period that they're allowing. They're giving their chat GPT account and a voice recognition software to demonstrate to you how good they are. So you better use this until the promotional period lasts. No one told me how long is, this is going to last, but well, it's a startup sort of feeling, if you see what I mean. Anyhow, the next one is, let's go back to the um, Ellen. So if you want to move on to the chat GPT-4, if you feel like the um, GPT-3.5 is not good enough for the information source you're after, you can also download it on Windows, Google Play and App Store. Now, I tried to download the software from Windows and apparently it's asking me to, for my Korean network phone number, which I do not have because I live in UK at the moment, but it's something certainly as an advance, if you're a Korean, uh, that's something you can explore as well. So just a bit of a history introduction of the uh, eSoft is that it's an AI human that I think she's one of the most well-known sort of Korean news presenter. She's gone through the uh, recording, there's virtual fitting, um, AI security, AI finance. Wow, what's this? AI finance. So it's like exponential investments, AI deep learning based models. So you can actually, right, so you can predict the market as well. Finance, ooh, a bit scary. Um, there's AI human, virtual fitting, Deep Core. What's this Deep Core platform that I'm, sounds very fancy, I heard many times. Uh, so those are the explanation of deep core, deep insight, deep analysis, and etc. So you could do AI business um, human uh, side as well. Um, and clone, you can actually AI clone yourself. That's exactly what I want. Um, and also the company introductions and so on. So again, eSoft is a big, big firm in Korea. So you guys, um, please do check it out they will definitely go international pretty soon. So this is their YouTube page. So we can see some videos here. Um, okay, AI human. So this well-known announcer, she actually created her own AI version and people can present news and so on. And I just find this one quite interesting actually. This is related to Korean history about um, Okay, all those regenerated of those historical figures, um, patriots and so on. It was actually quite emotional to me because this is like my grandparents' generation, if you see what I mean. Um, and the way how they could do this deep uh, learning and so on. Um, it's, I know a lot of people actually play around with it, but seeing that on our national heroes is something very emotional indeed. So um, if we go back to all these contexts, so we got the shorts as well. You can see this AI uh, human can also be used. I haven't actually gone through all of them because um, I think it's a bit dodgy to actually go through every single one of them. But the impression I'm getting is that this recorded um, AI human will be able to help uh, those people who need to go through exercise as well. So I guess this will be shown on a rather large sort of portrait screen. I think that's why they created these shorts as well. So um, that's really, really cool that um, EastSoft have actually now launched to this big sort of step of the AI world, AI technology that we can use and have fun with. And I, I just wanna say that um, all the best with their uh, success on the business international wise as well. And one thing, if I kindly could ask, please, um, he solved is that if I go to Korea, Seoul, uh, I presume you're based in Seoul, I think they are, uh, is that can you please record me so I can become an AI human uh, character as well, please. 
So that's it folks. So please do click on the link below. And if you want to find out more information, please do comment below. And I'm sure uh, Eastoff will be willing to help you come back to you with feedbacks and so on. Um, but I better get back talking to my AI assistant, the beautiful AI assistant called Natalie. Okay, so ta-da. See you later. You are beautiful. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> However, as an AI assistant, I don't have a physical appearance. I, I know that. I'm just saying that you're beautiful. Okay. Can we meet? I'm sorry, but as an AI assistant, <laughs> I don't have a physical Just say no. You don't need to come up with excuses, okay? I am hungry. I'm sorry to hear that you're hungry. <laughs> Oh, that's a shame. However, I can help you find nearby restaurants or suggest some recipes if you'd like. Okay, that's a better answer. You're tearing me apart. I apologize if I have caused any frustration or confusion. Okay. As an AI assistant, I strive to provide helpful and <laughs> It's like we're arguing. <laughs> Do you think AI is going to conquer the mankind? The idea of AI conquering mankind is a common theme in science fiction. Hmm. But in reality, by humans, and its capabilities are determined by how it is programmed and used. Okay. As long as AI is developed and utilized responsibly, such as healthcare, transportation. Do you think I'm handsome? AI assistant. Ah, oh, here it goes again. Oh. It's important to remember that true beauty comes from within and is not solely based on the external appearance. Exactly. Within not the external.